I also tried changing the in-game time. Hey, Jello. Thanks, man. I don't need it. I've been... My last, like, four or five runs haven't gotten past Helganish, so... I need the luck. Uh, I I tried editing the in-game time, and that didn't work. I tried actually, like, leaving it on. That didn't work. I tried finding the timer in RAM search. That didn't work. I tried a lot of things. I think it might be actually based off, like, story events as well. I'm not sure. Maybe for the first one it's based off story events, and after that it's in-game time. I don't know. But I couldn't find it. In the castle. Outside, uh... Outside the kitchen. Not in the kitchen. I also exited the castle a few times, tried teleporting around. Maybe. Who knows? I, I just, I put in enough effort now that I don't feel like bothering with it at the moment. Maybe I'll take a look at it again some other day, but... Oh, well, that's a bit of a pain in the butt, then. Oh, you're not asking for a speedrun. Now, what's the fun in it? I'd still have to set up the save states, though, so it would still take me a lot of time. What does that guy say? I swear it says, oh, I can't resist that body, which is kind of lewd for this kind of game. But I'm pretty sure I just misread it. Dude, I stream in my free time. This is my free time right here. If I do this, uh, if I do that in my free time, when am I gonna stream? It's a shame, because I actually got a few flurries in that fight. Like, if I didn't go YOLO, I would have gotten the fight done. But, uh, whatever. I already had, like, four failed escapes, two ambushes. Oh, I lost. Um... Yeah, technically there is. But it depends on what I want to run it on, too, I guess. I don't know what I want to do the run on. We'd have to use the same emulator. But don't worry about it, dude. If I, uh, if I end up wanting to do that, I'll set it up myself. It's honestly not really interesting to me. I don't know why. So the question is, if I escape from the next battle, do I want to heal for 30 HP? Also, the corners on these stairs are evil, for anyone wondering. Like, why I'm always getting stuck. They're just evil. Can't get past them. I'm gonna yellow this, yellow flea. Damn it. Oh, now I'm definitely gonna heal. The thing about breaking is, if you go first the next turn, breaking is only one second slower than a failed run and then a run. So, or about one second, so I like to go for that sometimes. There are some really great lines, for sure. Like, uh, the conversation you can have with Tressa around Still Snow. That one's pretty great. Along with other ones. That one's the one that sticks out to me. That's amazing. This is a good fight. This is a really good fight. Hell yeah, I just hit two GC flurries. That was a great fight. If I could have had this kind of luck, I would have won for the yellow strat and save some time. Just not, not having a bother with the Shadow Stone. But I have no way of knowing ahead of time. Alright, now give me a Kate so I can experiment with stuff and throw away the run. Yeah? Can we, can we have it? I want to try things. Please. No, True Ragerin, stop it. You can't... You can't encourage the Kate. You know, I'm messing it up. I don't want Kates. You gotta reverse jinx it. Because any run where I'm trying to get a Kate, I never get it. I wouldn't get it in Primrose because I'm never looking for it, so... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's do that, but not actually, because that's not okay. Don't take that literally. It's always funny when you get into a Kate, uh, like when you find a Kate with Prim. You try to run from it, you fail the run, and then the Kate runs. And funnily enough, that's actually a time loss because you get the victory screen instead of like just escaping. It's just like the silliest time loss. You try to run from the Kate, you can't escape. The Kate fled. Like what? <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, I think it's still not okay, but I'm not sure. I'm not a lawyer. It might depend on where you live. Alright, two battle here. Whatever. Fine. I'm not sure if they, like, I'm not sure consent makes it legal in that case. But let's change the topic. Because there's a lot of new people here, and I want it to be about that. <laughs> let's, uh, let's change the topic for my usual stream stuff, I guess. God damn, I saw that one coming too, Teradrin. So, um, for anyone wondering, that's a reference to a game called Sweet and Tactics, where you travel with a goat. Goat person, I guess. Goat girl. For, like, the whole story, she doesn't really say anything, and then you find out that she's actually your mom. So, it turns out you were half goat all along. Wait, did I mention the title? Because I don't want to spoil things for people if they actually want to play that game. Oops. That's been a nice meme here. Speaking of memes, where's Crow now? I haven't seen him at Altai. Switch topic, okay. Stop at SRD. We can have a vote right now. Tressa is definitely not best girl. I vote Prim. But, I know who's not winning. Tressa. Uh, you can make arguments for other girls. Hanit, Ophelia, pretty good girls. Tressa? Average, at best. Subreddit votes Tressa. I don't care about the subreddit. I've actually never been to the Octopass but, uh, subreddit. If the Discord would have voted Tressa, and then I'd uh, consider that. But... I'm actually surprised. Well, I think Tressa's speedrun, I was gonna say, I'm surprised that's the most popular, but her speedrun is pretty chill. Like, it's fairly easy to pick up and it's short, so. That's probably why. Did I get three battles here? I think that was two. I wasn't paying much attention. Three battles on this screen is really unlucky. I, I think I've gotten through here one battle once or twice, but. Nice. I'm actually gonna heal now because this is scary HP. Oh no. Don't. How did I end up on that? Don't encourage SRD. I prefer Esmeralda over Tressa, real talk. But no. Everybody can have their opinion. Just like if you think Tressa's the best girl, you're just wrong. That's your opinion, but you're wrong. If I can just not fail escapes, we'll actually be on pretty good Atlas Damp face. I'll laugh if I get a cape right here. No. I would actually have been kind of hyped if I got a cape right there. Ah, uh, group of two failed escapes seems legit. Actually, I actually almost made it to Atlas Damp too. If I walked, I might have been able to get in without a battle. There's a second failed run. Are we gonna go for three? I don't know the odds on failing three runs in a row. I know after the third failed escape, you're guaranteed to get on the fourth one, but, but I don't know the probability of failing the third one. I imagine it's pretty low, but it definitely happens. Also, for anyone wondering why I got rid of, uh, why I got rid of my flurry girl here, it's a little bit faster if uh, this guy doesn't cooperate and you have to reset if you lose her earlier. Oh, wow, fourth try. Okay, we got a run, maybe. We might actually have a run. Decent Atlas Dam, and we didn't have to reset for this guy. That's a 10% right there. He's been unusually cooperative today. Usually, I like lose every run at this point, but... Today, I've been getting lots of runs that get here, and uh, this guy helps you out. Alright. So, what now? Okay. You're definitely a Tressa fan. Fair enough. Don't flurry. Don't waste my flurries. Alright, good. That's not actually a thing. You can't waste your flurries, but it feels like it sometimes. Make it! Nice. One battle subcranium. That's good. Turn order is decent. 
Hell yeah, we got a flurry. Let's fucking go. Is this the run? This is a really good pace, actually. This is really nice. Defense should be a little bit faster than attacking. Got a nice soul stone too. I didn't split. Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, I got a nice soul stone too. That can help on Micmac. Helps with a very specific scenario, but... It's nice to have. Actually, I'm not even sure how much of a difference it makes. We'll find out, I guess. It's in the situation where Prim is not first. And I go for the summon, and the pointed shot happens. I'm wondering if it makes a difference if I get an attack and not a pointed shot. I find out soon. Alright, so, uh, last really scary thing for a while. Well, that's not true. But this is like uh, the biggest source of variance left coming up. It is getting evasive maneuvers, which requires 130 JP total. Right now I'm at 26, and usually it's done for battle in Whistlewood. And that's probably what's gonna be required today. Unless I get insanely lucky and get a Kate on my way there, which would be incredible. Uh, it's probably not gonna happen. And then it comes down to what battle I get in there and whether or not I get ambushed. I'm gonna kill this. This is gonna be a bit slow, but I still need a uh, lightning blast. Yes! Nice, Flurry. That saves time. And gets me a little bit more JP. And levels. I'm doing an extra express for no reason there. Because I'm used to, like, whenever you learn a skill, you get a support skill. I'm, like, used to confirming that. If I, if I get a good battle here, we're on... A legitimate run. But most likely, I'll just get ambushed. Hours. Okay, this is scary. Please, Cyrus first. Cyrus first. Cyrus first. I have to go for this. We got it. Holy shit. And we got... Oh my god, we even saved the stone. I've never seen that happen before. That's incredible. Query guy is so clutch today. Holy shit. Oh. And there's Batman meowing right on pace. <laughs> Got a good run going. Batman starts meowing outside the door. Alright. Ah, shit. Crashed into the wall there. I'm hoping it's not. Oh, nice. So, Alright, this is like the last kind of obstacle in the early game. You gotta get this. No, not that. Ah, oh, man, what's up? I'm gonna fail this, aren't I? Okay, got it. 30% chance right there, you really need that. There are backups if you don't get it, but it's pretty rough. Batman wants the love right now, but this is not the good time. For anyone wondering, Batman is my cat. That's all I can give you. At least for now. Oh, nice dude. That sounds really bomb. Send some over my way. Yeah, me, I'll give you my address. I expect brownies in my mailbox. Oh no, that actually sounds so good. Alright, I think Batman's just gonna knock out on the floor right now. I can tell based off his breathing, he's about to go to sleep. I just need to go and close my door. So when I... When something horrible happens, I inevitably get very angry. I won't wake everybody up. Cyrus first. Oh, Cyrus first. Okay, I'm gonna do this just to make it safe. It's a bit slow, but I can't fail to escape this way. So, why not? Definitely like five, six seconds slower, maybe more than just going for the escape, but I'll take the safety. Oh, stretching. 
chocolate oranges. No, I've never had that. I've never even heard of that. That sounds really good, though. I'll try that now. That sounds pretty bomb. Dude, I still have my M stone. Hold on. Ah! I got a nice idea. I still have my M stone. I could just uh, use my M stone here because I got the flurry on the howlers. <laughs> okay, this is actually kind of insane. This is gonna be a. We're gonna be ahead like almost two minutes. This is some insane freaking pace. Alright, I used the wrong stone. How did that happen? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Oh, it's because it's lower in inventory. I just take one more attack. It doesn't matter. You know we don't have that stone there, but because I got that uh, flurry, that's a really clean fight. Yeah, I got to evasive maneuvers. If I didn't get invasive maneuvers, I would have had three battles on like the previous screen instead of just one. <laughs> Alright, this is the best pace I've had all day. You know what this means, guys? We're gonna die with Simeon today. Or maybe double battle and Everhold, uh, West Everhold Pass. That's the one that's been driving me crazy. I've been getting battles with West Overhold Pass, and it's just like it's incredibly unlucky. And it's like 45 40 45 seconds lost or something. There's no way to like save it unless you get like a 3% escape. It's uh it's pretty yikes. And it's been happening a bit too much for my liking today. <laughs> I should be able to. Like the rest of the run, my run can't die. Simeon's the one that kills the runs. But I could lose time on my way to Simeon. I could also gain a lot of time. I have a lot of time to save in between now and Simeon. With a little bit of luck. I'm definitely picking up the palm for safety this run. Yes we are, and thank you. Yeah, this is like, this is maybe sub, this is sub 46 pace at the moment, honestly. This is insane freaking pace. Like, if this actually goes well, I feel bad for anybody trying to run this category, myself included, because it would just be bonkers. I honestly kind of hopes, I don't actually hope something bad happens, but I feel like something bad needs to happen so people can actually run against this, myself included. This early game is just too good. Oh, you know what? That's not necessarily true. It's just like everything went right, essentially. Which doesn't happen all that often in this category. Yeah, like this screen right here. This screen scares the hell out of me. I hate this screen. This walk right here is pretty safe, but the walk, uh... You have two walks after this that are really dangerous. They shouldn't be. Nobody else has problems with it. Oh. I'm sure they do, but it's not that common. I'm the one that really struggles here. This is my bad screen. Alright, I'm gonna close my door. Batman came inside. I always forget that you have to press up there to load the game, so I'm just like mashing while I'm doing stuff, and it's like, oh, damn, I need an input there. But yeah, this walk right here, I hate. This is... The scariest walk left on the run for me, personally. Alright, made it one way, now we gotta go back. And if we make it back, then we're safe for a while. There's still, like, places where we can get battles, but this is, like, the really big time loss one. Because there's no way to survive it. So we have to wait until we get murdered and then uh, do the whole walk again from the save. Dude. I like I got stuck in something there and I'm like I'm not walking more than I need to. That was a bit slow, but fuck it. I just don't want to get a battle there. I really don't want a battle there. Alright, I'm gonna do a few safety things in this run, I think. I'm gonna get an extra palm M. This palm M is here is now optional, it takes about six seconds, but I'm getting it because I want the safety. 
where I'm getting enough pace that I can try to recover stuff and like still PB slash record, so. Not gonna yellow skip that. And uh, I'm probably gonna steal the Palm S in uh, Boulderfall unless I steal from Heathcott. And that's like turn order based, it depends on how the fight goes. So, we'll see if that's an option for us. Almost two seconds. I think I can chop that up to like sloppiness. That split is essentially. I want to call it free because you can get a battle on that screen and it loses you a ton of time. But like if you don't, you generally shouldn't get any battles. And if you don't get any battles, it's like it's a consistent split. Nothing. There's no menus. There's no real execution besides movement. It's just play properly and it'll be the same every time. Unless you get unlucky and get a battle and uh, what's the roll pass and then you're just gonna lose a ton of time no matter what you do. Maybe if you get a preemptive and uh, or preemptive or just first try escape somehow, but generally you get ambushed. All right, here's the first bad screen. Nice. In my PB, I failed two escapes at the end of that screen there, so. As long as nothing bad happens on the next two, we gain some time. Nice. Okay, if I get a battle here, I'm just gonna soul stone it. That's another new route thing. In the old route, you didn't have the money or like any place where you can pick up an extra, but in this route, you have spots where you can pick up an extra, so I can afford to burn the soul stone on a battle here. Oh, I'm so close. Alright, we're just gonna soul stone it. Just wanna make sure I don't use my L on accident, because that would actually kill the run. That is slower by a good bit than going for an escape, but... It's safe. I was so close. I was like two steps off of finishing that screen. That sucks. But that screen is really hard to get through without battles. I've done it before plenty of times, but it's not likely. It's like the one of the screens where movement can also really matter. Alright, and I'll go uh, safe here, I think. Um, in this area, there's a screen where you can choose to save and reload and get no battles. Or uh, don't save reload and you're guaranteed to get a battle. And then if you escape first try, you save 9 seconds. If you escape second try, you lose 6 seconds. If you kill, I have no idea where it stands. But uh, I'm just gonna save reload because we're on a good pace. I only had one battle there. I can afford the safety. I'd rather not just lose time to like 2 failed escapes or something here. So we're gonna fight safe. Like I said, if you just uh, YOLO this, go for the escape on the battle, get it right away. No preemptive, just get the escape, it saves 9. But, I'll take a 9 second time loss for safety, for sure. And you gotta run like this going, no reason not to. Alright, you've got time. This fight's pretty safe. I'm gonna see if I, there's an opportunity to steal from him. I can get an extra M bomb, which is also really good for safety. But no guarantee I'll have a chance. Actually, I have a good turn order. I can't go for it. Nice. Yeah, um, the only downside is this guy is first this turn, so I have to take an attack here for no real reason. But I can go for the steal here, which is really good. Nice, got a spare palm. That's really good. Alright, so we save time, got an extra M bomb. We're safe, we played it safe. I call this a big win. We can get through the split like 20 seconds faster with better luck and uh, more risks, but I, I call that a big win. I now have two extra M bombs and I'm still way ahead. Time travel. Time travel would be a win too. Just travel. Wait, how would that work for speedrunning? 
Like, it's funny because I don't even, like, I don't care about the implications of time travel in real life. I'm just like, how did time travel affect speedrunning? First thought right there. I guess you can make, you can always make the right decision, but you can't prevent bad RNG with time travel. That's what we would do. Ah. I'm not sure. I don't know when you said it, so I'm not sure what you were replying to with that. So I feel like I lost a lot of the context. Feels bad, man. Alright. This is like the last screen where I can get a random battle, really. Nice. Hell yeah, dude. So we should save, like, time on Rufus as long as I don't fail to scrutinize 10 billion times. Ah. Uh. Damn, I don't know the context. I don't know the reference then. I need more details, apparently. I'm missing it. Alright, so uh, next uh, area, we gotta get a 30% scrutinized, followed by 70%. Uh, if we, well, the 30% is absolutely necessary. We, we can complete the run without it. So if I don't get that one, I just have to save reload. And that's gonna be a big time loss. But uh, the. 70% I can get by without, I, or yeah, the 70% I can get by without. I would have to improvise for sure though, I'd be really short on money. But I can, uh, I can improvise that probably. There's the 30%, or 40% apparently, it's better than I thought it was. Got it, hell yeah. Alright, then the 70% here. Got it. Okay, we're good. And now, besides, like, boss RNG, and, like, there's one screen that's a little bit scary, we really don't have much to worry about anymore. That's basically what it comes down to now. Boss RNG and one screen that can technically have a battle. I haven't seen it yet, but... I've seen it in practice. With bad movement. Alright, I burned one stone, so I do need to pick that up. Uh, the one in the cave, specifically. Ah. I'm still lost. Sorry, right, I'm like, I'm really focused on the run right now. Hit me up after the run, <laughs> and uh, I'll watch the VOD, see where you replied in, and then it'll make sense to me. Maybe. Yeah, this is definitely a run. If this goes, if this split goes well, I'll be ahead over two minutes. So, I'm kind of excited. And honestly, there isn't really much that can go wrong in this split at this point. Like, it would take some horrible luck to... ...lose time here. Or lose a significant amount of time, I should say. You can hit bad damage rate, just need to do some extra damage. But I even have, an, I even have a small soul stone for that, so that's nice. <laughs> you don't say that. I'm confident enough to say it on this split because this split is very safe at this point, but the next split I am scared of. That was a really good menu. Uh, okay, Cyrus doesn't need SP here. I just noticed that it's really low on SP. I guess he missed the level up somewhere, but uh, it shouldn't matter for this battle, so I'm not gonna bother trying to deal with that. Yeah, Simeon is the biggest concern, but that's not for a while. That's what I'm terrified of. That's a great start to the battle. Tressa first is really good. Probably the best person that first, because everybody gets more defense now. It's a lot safer. So 
I still have two M's if I saw that right. Alright, this is a damage range, so let's hope we get it. I won high rolls on uh, Rufus. Ah, I missed it, but it's alright. I have this extra white soul stone I can use. It's just a little bit more time loss. Your damage range there. It really depends on what you roll on the hired help. There we go, save 20 more seconds. The 20 seconds on this split was on uh, the random battle I got in Swarky. It wasn't anywhere after this, so as soon as I got past that random battle... Okay, can I alert, please? And then we're gonna do our jobs now. There we go. Alright, so anybody that knows this uh, category and how the run looks, you might have noticed that when we got to Still Snow, I didn't go to Everhold Tunnels. That is a route change. And because we didn't go to Everhold Tunnels, we have like 68,000 less along with like an M Palm. Actually, we picked up the M Palm and an L Palm that we never picked up. So, what we have to do is make up the money elsewhere. And this is one of the places we're doing it. We're gonna go to Mall of the Ice Dragon here. And pick up a chest for 30,000 and an Adamantite Helmet, I think it was. I don't remember if it was Vester Helmet. But that sells for 7,500. So, we get like 40,000 essentially once you consider try to pick up money. And then a little bit later, we're gonna go to one more place and make up the rest of the missing money. Adamantite Hat. After uh, after the boss fight here, and this boss fight actually is scary, but I do have pumps for backup, so I'm not... I'm scared, but I'm not terrified. There's like bad shit that can happen, but I have a lot of ways to recover it. Could still lose time though. With a good fight, I should save time though. I have time to save as well. How am I on stones? I okay, I should pick up the one in East Noble Court Blast after this. Let's go. Oh my god, I got hit with the glitch. Fuck's sake, are you serious? I got the- so there's a glitch where chests can despawn this game, and it's incredibly rare, this is my second time ever seeing it. Are you kidding me, dude? So I just lost 5,000, that chest contains 5,000 that I'm, I can no longer pick up because it vanished from existence. <laughs> Fuck's sake, man! Oh my god. I know how to back this up, but I got, uh... I'm gonna have to collect Simeon. It's gonna take me some time to recover it. Really stupid way to lose time. Luckily this one doesn't despawn. If both of them despawn, I would just be boned. Actually, I could probably back it up with a collect in this fight, but... I can't really do that with this route. Alright, so this fight's a bit different now too, since I don't have an L-Pomp from West Everhold Tunnels. So we no longer collect, since we... Well, now I kind of need the money, but we wouldn't if, uh... The chest doesn't despawn, and... Oh, well, nice, that's a good start. Alright, so somebody will probably die here. I'm hope like Tressa's the only person that I can't really have die. Okay, we should be fine. Yeah, we're we're good. Scariest part's over. I'm gonna have you M palm yourself now. I actually don't want her to attack because I'm afraid the poor girl will break early. Where's not the best turn order. Okay, I'm actually a bit scared because Cyrus is blind. Like, he got blind status. And I need to hit him four times here. That does not help me at all. Okay, we're good. Now we got the flurry, so it didn't matter in the end, but that was scary. Whew. Why are you keeping me on my toes? I barely have enough money for this, actually. That's funny. And really scary. I barely afforded that uh, hired help. Good to know that it's that tight when you don't get that chest. Alright, so yeah, I'm just gonna collect, I'm gonna collect Simeon, that's how we'll make up the money. And this should kill unless I rolled horrible damage. Alright. 
Collecting Simeon kind of sucks because that fight's already kind of hard and then it's like one more thing you have to do during it, but it's generally safe. It can just maybe cost some uh, time in battle. Fucking, I can't believe that chest despawned, dude. That's pretty crazy. And that Cyrus blind kind of sucked too. Oh. Shit, I messed up that menu pretty bad. There we go. <laughs> you know, you're not wrong. I believe it too, but like, I can't believe it. I believe it, but I can't believe it. Um, you know, I should have actually just skipped this chest, because if I'm going to have to collect Simeon anyway, I'd have enough money to just buy one more instead of picking that up. Oh well. Extra money won't hurt anyone, right? Maybe, it, might make, it might give me an extra dancer. Might be useful. Oh, the stress. Nice, we're just gonna pick up stuff here. There's about 35,000 in equipment here. And uh, a large L stone, a large soul stone is what I'm trying to say. That uh, helps some money as well, because that means that's one less that we need to buy. And here's a new thing here. So, pick up the rare stone, that's nothing too special. But, uh, we're gonna do the first amphitheater screen differently. Alright, we're gonna buy off this guy, because I'm comfortable with the menu. I don't think that's the best guy to buy from. I think the guy to the left here is a little bit better, but I don't know the item menu in battle as well. With, uh, Thunderstones, which is uh, what I think he has. Anyway, it's not, that's not all that important. That guy right there, he's right along the way, so he's a little bit faster. But, anyway, so what you normally would have to do here is pick up this chest, then go down and save reload to reset stuff counter. But we're not going to do that. We're going to pick up this chest, then we're going to go across and pick up this large soul stone. This is a fire. Then we're going to warp out of here. And this ends up being about just as fast, but uh, the one downside is you can't yield the next screen. But I get an extra L-Stone. Yeah, I'm sure like 5k. <laughs> well, actually, I'm sure like 4k. I have some extra money from something. But we're going to collect some Yon 1. I, there's no way around it. I have to do it. And I am going to save before this one, because this one's actually ridiculous pace. So yeah, for anyone that doesn't know, Simeon, Simeon is just a scumbag fight. He can just completely wreck your shit and you'll have no way to um, come back from it. It's a lot of RNG. If you're good, you can recover a lot of different fights, but in the end, it really is just RNG hell and you gotta do your best. And then he has two phases as well, so... That's each phase. That's like RNG hell that you have to worry about. Skill me on. Break the RNG gods. That's exactly what I need right now. That, and I just need to make sure I execute well if I can recover something. Because I've lost a few runs where I could have probably saved it, but I messed it up. Because it's hard. It's hard to save some young fights. And in this run, I feel like you have a few less resources than in the old route. I'm not in this scenario. I actually have two extra M palms. That's what you would have in the old route. But. Um, normally it can be, you don't have much to work with here. Since I have those two M-Palms though, unless I get like incredibly unlucky on Simeon 2, I shouldn't be able to recover that no matter what. And then it's just a matter of getting past Simeon 1, which is RNG. RNG and in very few cases, my actions actually matter. Hopefully this will be one of those where my actions don't matter because he gave me a good pattern and I don't even have to think. That's what I'm hoping for. Just brainless to me on one. <sighs> Deep breaths. I'm actually nervous as fuck. Let's go guys, let's fucking go. 
Let me get my drink real quick. I'm so nervous right now. Alright, I want their gun first. That's the first thing we want here. Prim first. I got the most useless person first. Okay, I might just die here. Depends on what this guy does. Um, This depends on turn order. If I get Cyrus in a good position, I can recover this. I didn't. It's probably doomed. I'm just gonna try- and you know what, this is stupid. I think I should just give up now. Yeah, I'm just gonna get ahead by letting him kill me. <laughs> yeah, thank you. He swept. He killed me quick. So that's already like probably 40 seconds of time loss here. But at least it was a fast death. Prim is the most useless person to have first. Yeah, so it kind of sucks that I got that. Could have been recovered if I got Cyrus before the puppets. Or before the male puppet at least, but he was after everyone, so there was nothing I could do there. Cyrus first. That's a bit of an oddball one, but it's better than Prim or Tressa. Still, if I get swept, it doesn't matter. Damn. Um... I think I can save- oh, not you though. I think I can save this. It depends on turn order? No, I should be good, I should be good. Alright, so Prim, uh, Prim Palm Owls. Cyrus Breaks. Yeah, that should be fine. Hell yeah. I'm so proud of myself for actually knowing what to do there. That's a very rare scenario, but I needed to know what to do. Oh, it's not done yet. I need to remember to collect. Which means taking an extra turn here, at least. So I'll need to do a extra break. Or a uh, break one turn late, is what I mean. So I'll have Prim defend here. I'm actually going to go for the collect here, because there's no reason not to. It's fine. Our corrosive of this... I'm not sure if this is a guarantee, this kind of scares me. Um... Fuck. Alright, worked out. That was very scary. I was being very... Which I did, but... That was dicey as fuck. I, I didn't know the probability after a break, not gonna lie. Well, the right thing to do would have been to uh, just small palm of Tressa on herself. And uh, hired help that turn, then collect the next. That would have been the right play. But even that has some risks involved. <laughs> Damn, I think sub 45 is dead now, but I can sub 46, which would still be fucking incredible. I just need to not choke this fight and not get completely screwed over by pattern. Oh, uh, that is not a good start. Alright, so it's gonna kill someone no matter what here. I should have you all of, I think. Now nah, we're gonna do this. Uh, if he hits Prim, I'm kind of boned. That's what I'm concerned with. Fucker. Are you kidding me? Or are you in turn order? I'm just screwed. I think I'm just screwed. <sighs> I hate you, Simeon. Okay, hold on. I might be able to... No, this is still fucked, I think. I have extra palms, I can go for this. But if he does AoE here, I'm just dead. Okay, I, I think I'm okay with this. I can, uh... This is not how this fight's supposed to go. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. 
Alright, you jam. I have to go for a uh, double break. Yeah, I'm gonna do triple boost. I thought I saw that wrong for a second and I was already done with my stones. I have five turns of armor for us and I should be fine. I should be fine. Alright, one of you defends Herb of Clamor, trust I can empom herself. You can attack. I'll have Cyrus defend. Doesn't matter who does it. It sucks that Tressa's last next turn. Just more waste of time. But we have it. This is GG. This is a new world record. It just. It's a bit of a really shit simulant to make, like, the rest of this run was so good. Alright, Tom M. Tressa. Oh, this is, uh, record. <laughs> You're famous. <laughs> GG. Horrible Simeon. Absolutely horrible. Lost, like, the whole... Lost two minutes there. But we got it. Oof. GG. Holy shit. Holy fuck, dude. I was really hoping for the 45, not gonna lie. I wanted to, like, even get the 44, just to, like, never saw the 45 or 46, never will. But that is still pretty sick record. Good host, Poexel. I can't confirm. I think that's what gave me power, because I think I would have quit. I would have quit before this happened, I think, if it wasn't for the host. I was ready to call it a night. Holy shit, dude, what a run. I think I got my wish from earlier too, where like I was saying I don't want this VB by too much because then it wouldn't be run like you can't compete against it against it. You can compete against this because there's two minutes to save on Simeon. Like actually over two minutes I think, but holy shit. Thanks, yeah, I thought it was fucked, honestly. I don't know his pattern on turn three, but I could have sworn turn three he does a four hit AoE and just wipes for party. Maybe he's turn four. I just played it through hoping he wouldn't and it worked out. Whew. That Simeon 2 was fucking terrifying, not gonna lie. Okay, it's random from there. Oh, from my experience, when I got past turn 2, he would just wipe my party, so... That was a nice change of pace from there. <laughs> I'm not sure I could've played turn 2 better, though. I think I gambled by not using an Olive turn 1, because I wanted Prim to do it. Maybe it would've been better off if I just did it with Therion. Then that would've been guaranteed to have two, three people alive turn 2. I'm not sure. I don't know what I played that right. I probably played it wrong, honestly. Yeah. I think I could have gotten away without the Shackle Foe. I think that might have been better. I think that's what I did with Therion, and I could have probably just done no Shackle Foe, revive. And then if he hits Prim, I can at least have Cyrus still, and I'd have like HP Thief and Dancers I can use. I don't know. It was, it was a really weird fight. I'd have to review, and then, even then, it's RNG on the next turn, so it's hard to say. It was a really weird fight. I'm more proud of the Simeon 1 fix, I think. The Simeon 1 fix was pretty cool. Where I had a break with Cyrus instead of Prim. I thought that was neat. Because normally the way you're supposed to play that fight is Prim uh, defense turn 1 so she can break Simeon turn 2. Instead, since Prim got killed, I broke with Cyrus and had Prim uh, do the Palm L. It worked out nicely. I thought that was kind of... I thought that was cool. I don't really get to do that ever. It was something I realized like way way too. For some reason it never occurred to me despite using Staff against Simeon in the later turns that you can use it against them in the first two turns. I, that was something that I learned grinding out that fight for practice. Oh, holy fuck guys, we did it. Yeah, Chrono. Hell of a run. Honestly, the... like the... <laughs> Hold on, let's see. I want to see the comparisons here. I want to see how far off I was. Uh, 
um, in the first parts. Can I change it? Wait. Oh, uh, Cam's gonna freeze for- oh, Cam already froze for a second. I was 3.3 seconds off my golds until Simeon. Holy fuck, dude. To be fair, I deleted my sum of best for Micmac and EM, so those were a bit off. Holy shit. But even then, I know, like, I know my splits well enough to know I was maybe, like, I was uh, probably less than two minutes off of my, uh, summer best at that point. Holy fuck. Well, actually, based off of my time, that's not true. I don't know. 151. My summer best, realistically, is about a 4330-ish. So I was maybe a little bit over a minute off of summer best at that point. That's kind of insane. That is actually insane. Holy shit. Uh, we did it. GG, guys. Thanks, everybody that's new, that stuck around from Poexel. And thanks for the post, Poexel. Really appreciate it. Or raid. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the run. That was that was a spicy one, for sure. Um, I am probably going to keep running this, but uh, primarily, I'm a Suikoden streamer. Uh, it's a JRPG, classic PS1 JRPG. I don't know how many of you are familiar with that, but uh, that's mostly what I do on this channel. I all my records got bopped, and I want some of them back. Like, all of them got bopped. Two by Sanjan, now one by Sanjan, because she had this one. And uh, one by Dahlia, who just ran, got a, was doing a fiesta, got a cane, and decided to go get world record real quick. I'm a little bit salty that he pulled that off so easily, not gonna lie. But uh, I want those back at some point. Yeah. I Honestly, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm like, if I... If Simeon cooperated, I don't think I'd be able to run this category anymore. It would just be- it'd be too good. I kind of agree. Cam froze again, because I moved my mouse. Ah, shut up, Chrono. We all know why you're here. But yeah, it's a pretty cool series. If you've never played it before, check it out. Really fun stuff. Uh, amazing story, amazing music. Like I think that anybody that's never played that series would really enjoy it. And if you want to see the speedrun of that, this is the channel for it. I uh, I'm primarily a Suikoden speedrunner. Besides that game, it's literally just Octopath for now. I'll probably learn some new stuff at some point, but it's not an Octopath. Simeon, yeah, Simeon is a roller coaster. Like generally, it's not like that. Usually, it's like feast or famine. You either get the fight or you don't. That one was something special, honestly. That was a unique Simeon. I've never had one that intense. I think that was my, my weirdest Simeon 2 recovery ever. I still can't believe that worked. Oh, let me get the game in focus. Oops. So we can get the music. That hype victory music. Let's go, guys. I'm really happy about this. I'm probably going to still run this, though. I think, uh, I think this can still be improved a lot. I still want to get a run with a Kate just to see what it feels like. I have a Kate route. I have a Kate route idea. Like you would never want to grind for it, but if you get it along the way, I think there could be a legit use for it now. Um, for anyone that missed it, I tried to explain it a bit earlier, but uh, it would go something like: if you get a Kate with Prim before you get Cyrus, you tag Atlas Dam, go Scholar Shrine, and if you don't get a battle at that point, going Scholar Shrine, you're basically done with RNG for a while. You get Scholar Shrine, you tag uh, Noble Court, pick up the M Stone uh, in um, East Noble Court Plains. Then uh, TP Bat, warp back to Atlas Dam, start Cyrus. Instead of alluring the 10% guard, you can allure the 30% guard to the left uh, by the library. And I think with Kate, it's probably like 40%, so it's almost guaranteed, I think. Not really, but it's much more likely. Um, then for Russell, you. Um, you set it up so your person that's first next turn... Wait, how did this go? I forgot this part. But essentially you want to break with uh, the first three attacks, and then the fourth person uses the M-Stone you picked up, and then just uh, third turn Prim Summon. And you would clear out essentially... you would win the fight at that point. Would be really consistent. I don't know if it'd be faster than like ideal flurries and whatnot, but it would be so much more consistent. And then at that point, you just TP the Noble Court, scrutinize for Thunder Owl, scrutinize for Curious Antique, and then go to Micmac, as you normally would. To now also optionally scrutinize for the Owl. I'm still you normally pick up an Atlas Dam. 
That's what it would be like. I don't know if it'd be faster. It honestly might be slower than like an ideal split on all of those, but it would just get rid of a ton of RNG. So it'd be a nice bonus. We deserve it. It's a bit awkward because it's in Japanese and I, I don't know about you guys, but I don't speak Japanese. あの日から私は Poor Prim. He's like so miserable. And then it's like, you know what? I get this though. I, I can relate to this feeling. This is the feeling of like, when you work hard at something and you finally reach your goal and then you realize I have no idea what I want to do now. Luckily we're not there yet because of Simeon. So we don't have to feel the same sadness. Thank you for the follow, Quarks of Mentine Naito 42. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Yeah, this could have been me if the 44 happened, exactly. Simeon saved me from my uh, from this same fate. Yeah. And her thing is that she will just keep dancing. GG. <laughs> I don't know if uh, he can call me a beast. Is that guy asking her to dance? I think he is. Looks... Oh, I think that's uh, Ravella's son over there. Finn. Dude, you guys, we did it.